Hi everyone and welcome back to the Mathman YouTube channel. In today's video we are going to be looking at how to multiply fractions and how to divide fractions by an integer. Let's learn it and let's learn it now. In this video we're going to start by multiplying two fractions together and I can guarantee you it is the easiest thing you will learn in maths this year. And then later on in the video, I'm gonna be showing you how to divide a fraction by an integer or a whole number. Let's move straight on with multiplying fractions though. So here I have a simple question. One third multiplied by one fifth. Okay, and watch how easy this is. So all you do is you multiply the two top numbers together. They're called the numerators. And then you multiply the two denominators together and that will give you your answer. So in this question here, one multiplied by one is one. Three multiplied by five is 15. And then one fifth is my answer. Let's do another example now. So here I have two sixths multiplied by one half. So numerator, numerator, two multiplied by one is two. And then do the, multiply the denominators together. So six multiplied by two is 12. And this is where you need to be careful because two twelfths is actually not the uh, final answer. This answer can actually be simplified into one sixth. Okay, and if you would like to know how to simplify fractions, then I'll link the video up above and you can check that out. But this actually, if you don't write your answer in the simplest form, it can actually prevent you from earning a, a mark in an assessment. So it is important to remember or always ask the question in your head, have I simplified my answer? Now, some of you amazing mathematicians out there may have realized, well, if I'm multiplying two fractions together, why have I got an answer that is actually smaller than what I started with? Because when we're multiplying, we're so used to think numbers getting bigger. But actually, when we're multiplying fraction, two fractions together, okay, we actually end up with a smaller quantity. Okay? And if you think about it this way, if I have two sixths here, if I have two sixths, and I'm multiplying by a half, what I'm actually doing is I'm actually halving this. I'm actually taking half away. But it is a good way to check to see if you've done the question correctly because if you end up with an answer which is larger than the fraction that you started with on the left, then you know you've made a mistake. What about if we have three fractions together? Okay, what happens then? Well, it's just the same. You multiply all the three numerators together. So three multiplied by two is six, and then six multiplied by one is six. Then you multiply the numerators, uh, the denominators, sorry, together. So seven multiplied by three, 21. Then multiply 21 by two, 42. And don't forget to ask the question, can I simplify my answer? Okay, I'm not going to be simplifying this one just now. So, dividing fractions by an integer. First, we need to understand what this word integer means. And it's basically just a special maths word that means whole number. Okay, so any number that has no decimals or fractions attached to it is an integer. Okay, it can be a positive or it can be a negative number. So like minus five is an integer. Okay, in my dividing example here, I have one third divided by four. Now the weird thing about dividing by an integer is that we're actually not going to divide it all. We're actually going to do the opposite. Okay, we're going to do the opposite. We're actually going to multiply to find our answer. Okay. So you may be confused just now, but the three things that you need to remember when dividing by a fraction is keep, change, flip. Okay, so watch carefully what I'm going to do. So keep, what does that mean? K 
Keep means to keep the fraction on the left the same. Do not change it, keep it. Okay? Change. Change means to change the divide sign for a multiplication sign. So, can you remember how I said we were going to do the opposite? So, the opposite of divide is multiply. Okay? Then you may be asking yourself, well, why am I multiplying when I should be dividing? Well, it's because we're going to flip this number, and you'll see what I mean in a minute. So, first thing before we do the flip is we must change this integer into a fraction. Okay, so it has a numerator and a denominator. And hopefully you should have a good enough understanding of fractions by now to understand that 4 is 4 whole ones and is represented as an improper fraction as 4 over 1. Okay, so 4 over 1. But this is what flip means. We're actually going to flip those two numbers. So the 1 goes to the top and becomes the numerator, and the 4 flips down to the denominator. So 1 divided by uh, 1 over 4, sorry. And this is why, because we've flipped this, okay, this is why we have decided to multiply and not divide. Okay? And by doing this, it actually gives us the correct answer. So one, th one third multiplied by one quarter. One multiplied by one is one. Three multiplied by four is twelve. And my final answer is one twelfth. Let's do one more example. Three fifths divided by five. So remember, keep. I'm going to keep three fifths the same. I'm going to change the divide sign to a multiply sign. Then I'm going to flip this number. But before I flip the number, I need to change it. I need to change it to an improper fraction. So five whole ones is the same as five over one. Now I can flip. So the one goes to the top and the five goes to the bottom. So one fifth. Then all I need to do is multiply the answers. Three multiplied by one is three. 5 multiplied by 5 is 25, and there is another correct answer.